Hey guys, Skeptical Skeptic back again with yet another video. I'm not really going to be talking about anything terribly substantive this time, but this is just a short rant about something dumb. But I just felt like I had to talk about it because it kept popping up everywhere. You know, for all of conservatives talk about how they're the victims of censorship online, it sure does seem to be near impossible to actually escape their content. Of course, the reason for that is because conservative organizations shelve off fat stacks of money to get their videos artificially promoted on sites like YouTube. I can scarcely browse around on my Skeptical Skeptic channel without coming across promoted conservative content, even if I rarely ever watch conservative content. I remember around two years ago when there was literally no way to escape Ben Shapiro's MILF mommy sister on YouTube despite the fact that almost no one actually liked her. However, over the past several months while going on YouTube, I have just been slammed over and over with this one video from Turning Point USA. Literally for months, I couldn't go on YouTube without seeing it. It popped up not just on my Skeptical Skeptic channel, by the way, which I browse a lot of political content on, but also my Aromantic Shipper channel as well, which I don't use for politics at all. And what was this video that was so important that it had to be promoted incessantly for months? The video is 80 seconds long and is literally just a guy singing the Pledge of Allegiance, but its thumbnail might actually be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. Dad steps up and sings National Anthem after school st skipped over it. And just look at this shit, it's hilarious. Literally the most pasty white guy you can find, who isn't the actual dad in the video by the way, clothed in a robe of the American flag, with an American flag in the background behind him, and giant USAs scrawled out in front of him. And look at his fucking face, it looks like he's having an orgasm, nay, an Amerigasm. Mm. Mm. <sighs> America! It's so incredibly over the top that you would expect to see something like this in a parody of conservatives. But here it is being put out by a legitimate conservative site unironically and being plastered everywhere on YouTube for months. <laughs> Charlie Kirk was actually proud of this. I mean, I swear, over time it just gets harder and harder to actually parody and mock conservatives and Republicans because they basically just do it to themselves now. And, like, the video itself really isn't that embarrassing. The guy singing the national anthem is actually pretty good. But it's just so telling, isn't it, that this is the kind of stuff conservatives want to bring so much attention to. Oh, what a great patriot this man. Sing our sacred national American anthem after the liberal leftist woke school skipped over it because they are trying to cancel patriotism. Not gonna lie, my voice would have cracked all throughout that. What a champ. That's patriotism. Reminder that it isn't a problem to be patriotic about living in your nation, no matter where you are. That song always gives me chills of pride. God bless Dad. I know how he feels. Everyone's gone mental. Impressive considering he had to project his voice out loud to be heard. And he was heard. That was beautiful. What a great man. God bless America. I got chills. God bless this man. Thank you, sir. This was amazing. Gave me goosebumps and tears in my eyes. So proud of a patriotic American dad. God bless. This should not be the case in the USA of all places. Just think, we have allowed this to happen. Dude had me in tears. A true American. Thank you, sir. For some people, it's actually offensive and a sign of the destruction of our moral fiber that any school would dare to abstain from singing the national anthem before a game. And listen, you want to sing the national anthem? Sing the national anthem. I don't even watch sports and I don't give a shit. As long as people aren't being forced to sing along. Or threatened with firing for daring to kneel when it's sung. But why does it fucking matter whether the national anthem is sung or not? Why do conservatives get triggered over this stuff and feel like they have to make some big thing over it and push the story everywhere on YouTube for months? There's no rule that says it has to be sung. And on top of that, it's just weird, right? Like... It's weird and nationalistic to constantly sing about how great your country is at every possible opportunity, including when it doesn't relate at all to a particular event. I mean, I've never been outside of the States, but from what I understand, this is not normal in most European countries. I think it really speaks to the inherent silliness and immaturity of American conservatism, where nothing less than worship and idolization of the country is practically demanded. I mean, I'm convinced this country could literally be on fire, and as long as the Star Spangled Banner was waving all throughout, they wouldn't care. And everyone in this arena tonight are unified by the same great American values. We're proud of our country. We respect our flag.
Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! You know, some owner's going to do that. He's going to say, that guy that disrespects our flag, he's fired. And that owner, they don't know it. They don't know it. They're friends of mine, many of them. They don't know it. They'll be the most popular person for a week. They'll be the most popular person in this country, because that's a total disrespect of our heritage. That's a total disrespect of everything that we stand for, OK? everything that we stand for. And you want to know what the funniest thing about all this is? Charlie Kirk is a fucking liar, or at least very deceptive. Because this title of the video makes it seem like the school just intentionally declined from having the national anthem sung, but that's not what happened. Now this news covered the same story, and unlike Turning Point USA, it didn't say anything about the school skipping over the national anthem because that's not what happened. In actuality, the usual singer was unable to attend the soccer game, so one father volunteered to sing it in his place. The school was more than happy to oblige this, which is why no one interrupted him. The school did not skip over anything, and Turning Point USA was intentionally inventing a narrative of a patriotic American dad defeating a woke conspiracy to silence the national anthem. It's deceptive, it's stupid, and it's one of the biggest laughs I've had in quite a while. This has been The Skeptical Skeptic. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, remember, be compassionate, be understanding, but most importantly, never stop questioning. Bye.